Yes, yes. And uh, that is how you learn. And every week you learn something new because you are doing a lot of things. And over a period of time, it will all bulk up and you would, you would have learned a lot about the technology. Uh, with that, I want to bring something back that you said. You started with front end, front end in the with the hope to make this world more beautiful. Then you got interested in back end, and then you got interested in blockchain technology, and then ch that changed your career. Something that I can relate to. I started with pricing domain, then I was doing forecasting, and then I completely changed my uh, work to fraud analytics. And then when I switched yeah. to the company, I was working in recommendation system, advertisement domain, and currently I'm looking after user growth. So, and so on. So the question is that careers are long. How to keep oneself motivated to try out something new? Okay, right. So a very good question, right? And uh, my own from my own personal experience, as you said, right? You work with so many domains. Right? The thing is, we are in our uh, like we start with in our early twenties, late twenties, early thirties. We have a good amount of like ten years to figure out what works, what does not work for us, right? So, for example, today if you ask me. Uh, whether I want to do front end, okay. If the company requires, right? If if the job requires, I do it, right? But I don't want to, right? I I want to architect right now. I want to do something related to security, right? Now, and keeps changing, right? The beauty of things is that your interest keeps changing. How to keep that motivation up, right now? Uh, coming to your question, right? So I'll give you a very simple example. Let's say this is this is your area of comfort, right? You're sitting in between. That area of comfort, right? If you keep sitting there, right, you will not grow. You have to put yourself out of the comfort zone, right? Just outside, like just outside to start, with, right? Your comfort zone increases. Right? You you come out of it, comfort zone increases. You keep doing it, keep doing this day in day. Out. Your comfort zone increases to that level, and it becomes right? a habit. That, Ha, then it becomes a habit. And, and I'll tell you what happens, right? And one more thing that and I, I, I uh, once it uh, becomes a habit, people around you understand, okay, this guy is go getter. You give him anything, he will figure it out. Yeah. So that's that's the that's the thing, right? I I I I experience this thing that if you keep repeating this, there is this attitude of you give me something, I will figure it out. Right. I will get back to you, I will figure it out. And I feel that is more important. Then the skills that you have, right? Because skills are acquired. Skills can be acquired, right? But this attitude, it takes time, right? It takes time to build this attitude. Skills can be like, so for example, currently, like I had to do uh, front end engineering myself because we do not have front end engineer, right? I spend like seven to 10 days learning Flutter, right? I'm not a master in Flutter. I'm just a newbie, right? But I get the things done, right? Some way or the other, right? And people are patient enough to give me that seven to ten days. Okay, let him figure out. Let him come back. He will do it. Right. And even though I do not have the understanding of the ABC of Flutter, Dart, and everything, I have this confidence that I will figure it out eventually. Right. One way or the other. And the best thing that I will tell you, right, is that even if let's say you are not able to figure out on your own, you have your network of people. Right. You tell them. Okay, this is where I'm stuck and I am fortunate enough that I have that network and people patient enough to actually give me advice and push me in the right direction. And this is what I I ask from all the people that I've worked with, uh, all the people that I've managed as well, right? You don't need to know things, right? It's okay because you will acquire those skills. The only thing that is important is that what you said, right? Go get a attitude, right? You give me things. You push me in the right direction, right? You tell me this is the direction where the answers can be found, right? You push me in the right direction and they will come back with the best results that are possible, right? And to be honest, let me tell you, it is a difficult trait to, to get along. Like it took me years to finally figure out, okay, maybe putting myself out of the comfort zone can be the answer to grow, right? To be honest, it took me two and a half years. In, in in my first organization to figure out, okay, I'm sitting here. My life is very comfortable here, but let me try. Right? That, that is when I tried uh, back in engineering and I figured out, okay, that was the right thing to do. Understood. So keep yourself, by keeping yourself motivated, like just trying out new things, right? And you should have, like, someone will come, come to you and give you that particular opportunity. Just grab that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Maybe it works out, maybe it doesn't. But the thing is, if you do not try, you will not fail. And you will not learn, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, so, so that's 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 my thing. Like, just yeah. try. 
Yeah, very well put. Very well 